Margaret, you're a local lady and you've lived here for quite some time. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, about this church and this churchyard? Um, yes, I moved in here in 2003 to a house right in the corner of the churchyard. Didn't know anything about it at the time, um, but it was very overgrown and um, the only people who came in were those um, with alcohol and drug problems. We started um, a community group and then started finding out all about the history and we've transformed this into a beautiful space. Very appropriate setting for the church which is grade two star listed. We don't know but it is thought because of the actual um, line of the church that it would have been on the site of an original wooden uh, medieval building and when that came down then the stone church would have been built on top of it. Fascinating isn't it and it's, it's due to community activists like you that you've really brought and reclaimed these, these spaces which is wonderful. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the churchyard because it's massive and there's so many graves here isn't there? Yeah it's interesting because you see the gravestones right around the outside that is they were moved at the end of World War II um, when they did a whole programme of, um, I think they were trying to bring, lift people's spirits up, so there was money put in. And the gravestones were moved to the edge and there were flower borders and hedges, everything all laid out here. Those don't, don't now all exist because they lost the gardeners when the Church of England moved out of the church. Right, yeah. um, so the churchyard is a closed churchyard, closed to burials. Um, so it is basically the responsibility of Torbay Council as a closed churchyard. The church is now um, leased to the Greek Orthodox community, and but it's just the church that they look after. And um, we, we have transformed it. This is a place where people love to come and sit, um, chat, children learn to ride their bikes up and down, they follow the squirrels, they like to walk along the stone um, coins along the walls. There's not many walls that you can walk along, but when you're a little one and you can jump off a wall, yep. it's very, very exciting. It is, yeah. it's wonderful. We had a two-year-old learning to skateboard in here <laughs> yesterday, which was wonderful. But the trees, the bird life, this area right behind me, um, because there weren't many tombs in the middle, we set it up as a meadow. Yes. yes. And it has increased the insect life, mm. which is feeding the bats and the birds. So we have a wonderful selection of bird life. Got the most magnificent cedar down the bottom there. It's an absolutely stunning tree. Um, which I think has probably survived so well because it's protected by the, by the housing. I think that's terrific. And, and I mean, we're right in the centre of urban Torquay, if people don't know yeah. the area. And you, you provide an oasis of wildlife. And it's also almost going back to the, um, how medieval churchyards were. They're owned by the community and yeah. visited and utilised. Margaret, that's been wonderful. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank you.